Hi, and welcome to Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. You can find all my commentaries and Seymour's World episodes on the ThinkTech Hawaii website. I welcome your comments by email, text, or phone. You could reach me at seymour.kazimerski at gmail.com or 808-551-3222. Our topic today is Don't Let a Temporary Solution Become a Permanent Mistake. Have you ever made a decision that turned out wrong and hurt people around you? Even when you are convinced that you are absolutely right and justified, it doesn't give you the right or justification to create more harm to those around you. Just wait. Work on yourself, your reactions, and pick up some coping skills while you are at it. Living and dwelling inside your head and closing everyone off makes your thoughts fester. Learn to talk about it. Sometimes, time will open your eyes if you keep your mind open in the process. I have to confess something to you. I am an incredibly impulsive person when it comes to my overwhelming emotions. Probably, like all of us, I have made a long string of choices that weren't good for me or those around me. At the time, I was absolutely convinced I was right. Well, I wasn't right every single time. I wasn't even close. It was actually my sense of being right, fueled by confusing emotions coming into play. I still pay a residual price for those choices. I have to live with that, and it's not easy. If this applies to you, keep watching this show. If not, you must be perfect so you can just turn me off. Then there were times I thought I was absolutely positively right and justified. Again, I was wrong. I thought I was making the right decision, but after all was said and done, I had my own come-to-Jesus moment, a, a moment of divine intervention. Probably, but my eyes needed to be open, right along with my mind, to pick up the shattered pieces and glue them back together again. Has this happened to you? Do you continue down the wrong path when you are doing something wrong? I chose to learn to transfer my own emotions and reactions with deliberate and thoughtful responses. Talk about a major change within my own self. The end result? I didn't allow a temporary solution to become a permanent mistake. I'm still trying to teach this to my own children. I'm still trying not to be so impulsive with short-term solutions to long-term problems. And that's not easy. If I had only learned this earlier, I would have saved myself and those around me a great deal of heartache. But the good news is this. I have a new and empowered outlook on my future, my prospects, my control over the choices I make, and which direction my life will go. I don't fear loss anymore. My marriage is strong and fulfilling. My children really will be okay. My life is filled with choices that make me happy. So what's my advice to you? Do what I had to do. Stop. Breathe. Give yourself time and space. Work on you. React deliberately instead of impulsively. Talk about it. Keep your mind open. Be willing to open your eyes and see through the eyes of others. Of course, you must be kind to yourself. You must be willing to change. You must be willing to ask for help and don't allow negative people to influence your life. Stand up for yourself, but don't forget to stand up for the ones around you too. Believe it or not, they may feel like your worst enemy, but they likely will become your ally the moment you stop becoming your own worst enemy. Putting in the hard work is uncomfortable. You may question yourself. You may think the short and easy answer is a viable long-term solution, but here are some of the uncomfortable situations that can arise when you allow temporary solutions to become permanent mistakes. You may want to file for divorce. You may want to find love in other places. You may want to consider suicide. You may want to uproot and chase some elusive dream. You may want to do the easy wrong instead of doing the hard right thing. You may want to hole up inside yourself and shut everyone around you out. You may want to run away every time things get hard. 
You may want to stay stuck inside your toxic thoughts and remain a victim. There is a difference between being right and being righteous. Don't confuse the two. The lines may be blurred at first, but with time and practice, you'll be able to know for a fact that you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. I'll be honest with you. If anything on the list above is running through your mind right now, I don't have all the words to make you feel better right now. I may not be able to give you a hug, but I do have a big heart and it's aching to see you smile again. The best thing I can do is tell you I've been in your shoes and I'm here to say I finally made it through and I'm better for it. You can do this, I promise. If I can do it, I bet you can too. I have absolute faith that you can make it. My name is Seymour Kazimersky. You're watching a commentary of Seymour's World. You can find all of my commentaries and all of Seymour's World episodes on the ThinkTech Hawaii website. I welcome your comments by email, text, or phone, and you can reach me at seymour.kazimersky at gmail.com or 808 551 3222. Aloha. Cool. Perfect.